Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do the uh, setup, the the building up to, or the uh, putting together of the Osprey Y sensor. And you can see here it's finished. And continue to watch the video to see how simple it is to put this all together. Hey guys, we're back here. What we're going to do today is going to be putting this all together. This would be the ambient weather Osprey system. And this is one of the systems that can connect up to uh, the internet and download your data to like weather underground or something like that. Things you will need that are not included in the bag are two sets of batteries, or two AA batteries, I should say. You'll need a screwdriver. You'll need some AAA batteries if you intend to power your indoor module with battery. Otherwise, you can use the AC power, which is what I'm going to do today. So first step, what you want to do is you take your rain gauge cup and you see that you've got three different pieces here and you will put those in, set it in there nice and snug, give it a little bit of a turn, a click and that's all set up. The next thing you want to do is you'll take your uh, air weather, weather vane and you're going to be installing that on the one that looks like a D. So you'll have one side that is, is circular, completely circular. Let's see that? It's that one. And then you have one that has a flat spot on it. So you'll do that one. Yeah. Okay, so you align the flat spots and you'll push it on. It should fit down nice and snug. And then you'll Screw the screw the screw in so it's nice and snug. Yeah. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. Now you can give it a little tug and make sure it's not gonna come off. And then the final step is to put the the uh, the airspeed meter on. So we'll push that on there like that. It's on nice and snug. And then again we'll turn the screw. Tighten it down, and that's nice and hand tightened. So there you go. You've got your weather, wind direction. You've got your airspeed. Now, one thing that is noticed, noted to note on here is there is a north arrow. So when you install, you want to make sure this is pointing north. And then what we'll do last is we will add batteries to it. And what is this? So put the battery in. And there you go. And then you have your battery cover cup top. Put that on. And slide it in nice and tight. Had a red light there that's telling me that everything is getting ready to uh, configure. So set up. the rain's going down to here. That's right, the rain goes down through there. The next thing you want to do is take your uh, indoor unit and you will want to power up your indoor unit. So here's the power plug, which I'm going to stick in here, in the back, powering on. And so it should detect your, your device, and there we are, we've detected it. So you can see inside and outside, they're about the same. When you spin that around a little bit, you spin this one around, we should be able to see a change in the wind speed. Oh, if we go the right direction. So can you can I see, do it now? You got a small wind there. And we can change the direction of the wind to point south. And you can see it updates. So there we go. That's all you have to do to set it up. And the indoor unit, the outdoor unit is ready to go. Next we'll do uh, install, we'll look at the site survey, figure out the best place to do to put it, and yeah, we'll put it up. Alright guys, subscribe to the video below, and or subscribe from the link below, and you'll get notified for the next video that we put up of installing the ambient weather. So thanks a lot guys, and uh, Catch you on the next one.